What's up guys, Cheap Beast, aka Noah, back today bringing you another video. This time we're doing the August sneaker releases. August is honestly a pretty okay month. There's not a lot of stuff towards the end of the month. Uh, like always when I do these videos, I a lot of the stuff comes later on. Um, but there are some decent stuff at least coming out. I don't think it's as good as last month. I think last month has been by far the best one of the whole year in terms of like stuff that was actually good or stuff that resells well um, but i think this month could be pretty well so uh we'll see some of the stuff i believe is going to be like pretty basic like general release kind of stuff but um there's some cool stuff some coming out so let's go over that so starting off on the second which is today the video is going live it's actually yeezy day um so there's going to be a ton of drops on confirmed yeezy supply and i believe the adidas app also uh, so you'll have to be looking out for all those there's definitely a lot of places you can find on twitter to tell you what's coming out what will be next um, but i'm just gonna go over some of the top five it's gonna vary a lot by model um, but the top five i believe are coming out are the turtle dove 350s the wave runner 700s the 350 v2 solar red uh, 350 v2 in the oreo and 350 v2 zebra a lot of 350s i think 350s are probably the best model and then there's the wave runners which obviously i feel like always come out on easy day and then the turtle doves probably the biggest one of the whole month coming out uh it hasn't released in i at least maybe like 10 years at this point i feel like it's been a while i don't know the exact day um but it's been a while so uh, definitely be on the lookout for those ones. Obviously, follow a lot of like the Twitter accounts. It's probably someone going to be live streaming it. Definitely check out a lot of those. There's also going to be some other 500s, 350s, uh, 700s, slides, and foam runners coming out throughout the day. Uh, so definitely check on all of those uh, throughout the day. Obviously, the retail will vary based on which model you're picking up. Um, so hopefully, you'll be able to pick up something cool. I'll definitely be trying to go for some of that top five that I mentioned earlier. Then on the next day, the third, it's the Nike Air Max 97s in the bread colorway. It's going to retail for $185. Um, it's pretty basic. I mean, obviously, it's a bread colorway. Uh, Air Max 97, it's all black with some red swooshes. This actually reminds me a lot of the Mischief, like Lil Nas X. Uh, the Satan shoes that everyone, like freaked out about for a while and i think they didn't release some nike might have sued them they look very similar i know that i think the swishes on those were white and these are red and obviously there's not gonna be blood in the like heel of these shoes or in the bubble like unit but um i think they look pretty cool obviously if you want a pair of those ones here's a good alternative we're not spending a ton of money or just i having some like band shoes basically so i think they look pretty cool obviously bread colorway always looks good then on the fifth we have probably the biggest day of the whole month at least so far uh, we have five sneakers that are four sneakers that i wrote down uh this first one is the jordan one ko in the syracuse it's gonna retail for 150 dollars uh, it's the Syracuse colorway of the Jordan 1 KO. Obviously, um, the Jordan 1 KO, I believe, is like a more canvas material. It's not um, like a full Jordan 1. It's kind of a little different. I know there's, I think this is maybe the fourth Jordan 1 KO that's come out this year. Uh, I feel like there's a Billie Eilish and then there's the red one and then the blue one. So this might be the fourth one coming out. I don't know exactly. There may have been a couple other ones. Oh, this one's Syracuse, so it's mostly orange and white. Um, pretty decent colorway. Um, if you're in the Jordan 1 KOs, I feel like it should be a pretty easy pickup. Next up on the fifth, we have the Jordan 1 Low and the Smoke Gray Toe. It's going to retail for $100. I always recommend Jordan 1 Lows. They're pretty cheap. Uh, obviously, you're still wearing a Jordan at that point, so it's not like it's anything crazy. I have two three pairs of jordan one lows so i like them a decent amount i think they're pretty easy to wear plus they're only a hundred dollars plus these ones are very similar to the shadow colorway on the jordan one high um so if you're in the shadow colorway i feel like these are super easy to wear um so it's a good colorway too so definitely one to look out for then we have the tom Sachs a nike general purpose shoe um, obviously Tom Sachs uh, came out with the Mars Yard and those things are really expensive. Uh, this one's going to retail for $109.99. This is actually a restock of their original June 10th release. Um, I don't know if that came on like Tom Sachs website or anything. Uh, I didn't follow the drop too much. I don't know really what the resale on these are. I mean, but they're made obviously tom Sachs collab but they're made to be like an everyday sneaker for literally like anyone um there's like a post about it being like boring um just to be a shoe that you don't really worry about uh you don't wear it like for the hype or anything you just wear it because it's like a shoe i think it's pretty cool obviously i don't know if the hype's obviously not there because of like the mars yard like that kind of hype um but i imagine there's a little bit of hype behind it i think it's pretty clean i mean it's not a bad sneaker obviously it is a little boring obviously that was made on purpose uh, just to be an everyday sneaker so if you're looking for a nice everyday sneaker sneaker this would be a decent one to pick up and then speaking of another like everyday minimalist kind of sneaker we got the j or jound i don't know exactly the jjj ound 
uh, Reebok NPC uh, 2. It's going to retail for $150. Uh, it's a collab. Again, I feel like this is the first collab I've seen between uh, Jound, is what I'm going to say, and Reebok. I feel like I saw it on a New Balance before. Um, but this one's also supposed to be a very simple sneaker. It's mostly all white. Um, and then there's just the the collab branding on the side and then Reebok on like the heel. So nothing crazy. It's a very simple sneaker. Uh, I think this and the Tom Sachs one, I mean, if you're looking for something very simple or not too expensive, uh, these would be some good ones to pick up. Next up, we on the 6th, we have the Jordan 5 Concord. It's going to retail for $200. It's going to release in full family sizing. Uh, it's a pretty like classic colorway for Jordans. And I feel like Nikes in general. Uh, it's basically just all white with some purple accents on like the lace lock, the, the soles, the Jordan logo, and then like the inner of the shoe. So it's pretty simple. If you're looking for a like mostly all white Jordan 5 and like purple, uh, it's a pretty good one to pick up. I mean, nothing too crazy, especially since it's going to be released in full family sizing. So I imagine it's a pretty general release kind of sneaker. Then jumping all the way to the 11th, we have the Jordan 4 Canyon Purple. It's going to retail for $200. Uh, this is going to be a women's release. It's very similar. Not very similar. It's a little similar to the colorway that I was on the Jordan Scott Friends and Family uh, on the Jordan 4 a while ago. The, I think it's like a $20,000 shoe now. Uh, obviously super limited uh, so it's all right it's mostly made out of like suede purple uppers and then there's like some olive like green accents on it i don't think it's terrible it kind of also reminds me of like the like the 420 dunk or something like that the the purple one i don't remember exactly what that one's called uh, but it reminds me of that one too so if you're looking for something like that i don't think it's bad 200 dollars a little pricey and it's a women's release so there may not be like a ton of like men's sizing like it may not go up to like size 13 for example um but if you're looking for something that looks like this then go ahead and pick this one up and we have two sneakers coming out on the 13th the first one is the jordan 7 citrus it's going to retail for 200 dollars uh, this one's also going to release in full family sizing it's actually the first retro of this sneaker or this colorway at least since the 2006 release um, it's basically just an all new buck upper with some yellow stitching and and a yellow jump man and also there will be some red accents on it i'm not a huge fan of the sevens uh, if you like the sevens i think this colorway is actually pretty cool i like the all black and then like with the yellow stitching and then the red on it too i don't think it's bad obviously it's the first release since 2006 so if you've been waiting for it for 16 years now it's finally coming out for you and something for you to pick up then also on the 13th, we have the Fro Skate uh, Nike SB Dunk High. Sorry if I'm butchering that name. I'm really bad with names. Uh, this is going to retail for $150. This is actually a collab with Fro Skate. Fro Skate. Uh, it's a Chicago-based collective that is centered around like various uh, minority groups and like LGBT, that kind of stuff groups. So it's definitely a cool initiative. Uh, I feel like it's what I read. It's been around for like three years now. So it's a skate group around Chicago, um, but it features actually two different sneakers on the actual like the sneakers. Neither of them are exactly the same, which is pretty cool, um, but they're very bright colors. Um, so if you're looking for something really bright in the SB Dunk High or something that supports a good cause or a good group, um, it's pretty cool. And it also has all love like embossed on like the side panels, which I think is really cool. I like that they have like the, the stuff embossed in it. So I think it's actually a pretty cool colorway. Um, I'm not obviously a fan of the like two different like sneakers, basically. I mean, one's a lot of different colors. And the other one is uh, the different colors, too. So I think it's a cool concept, um, but it's not for me, but definitely something you should check out if you're into it. And then on the 20th, we have the Jordan 12 Stealth. I feel like there's been a lot of Stealth sneakers released recently, at least from what I remember. Um, it's going to retail for $200. This is going to release in men's and grade school sizing. Um, so it's a pretty simple colorway. It's just mostly gray and white, gray and white leather. Um, so if you're in like Jordan 12s, I think it's a pretty clean one. Obviously, it's very simple to wear. You can wear it with almost anything, especially with the gray and white. Um, so I think it's a good looking sneaker. I think it will probably like sit at this point. Uh, I don't think it's too crazy. And I mean, it's going to probably sell out day of. You could probably find it in, like stores or something. On the 24th, we have the Jordan 3 Dark Iris. I feel like this one I talked about a while ago for some reason, but it's gonna retail for $200. It's gonna release in full family sizing. Again, this is a mostly white Jordan. Um, it's a Jordan 3, so it's like that model, mostly white. It's gonna have the like elephant print uh, accents, and then this has some other purple accents on it. Um, kind of similar to the Concord with the purple accents. Um, I think it's a clean looking sneaker. Obviously, I don't mind the purple. I'm wearing a purple shirt right now, um, but I don't think I'll be picking this one up. Another one that I feel like is more general release kind of kind of uh, Jordan recently, but um, not terrible. If you're into Jordan 3s, it's another cool one to pick up. And the last sneaker 
Uh, for August, we have the Bad Bunny Adidas Forum Buckle Low in the blue tint colorway. It's gonna retail for $160. Uh, this is actually the latest release, which I believe is the third buckle uh, form buckle low uh, with Bad Bunny and Adidas. Um, it features that buckle on it. Obviously, that's where it gets its name around the ton. Uh, it's got a lot of blue uh, leather and suede and then the blue soles. So it's obviously mostly blue and white. Obviously, that's why it's called the blue tint. It's not like the Nike or the Adidas blue tint where it's like a hint of blue. It's a lot of blue. And this was originally planned to release on Easter. So it's been a few months. Uh, and they're finally releasing. So if you're into the Bad Bunny collab, I obviously know who Bad Bunny is, but I don't listen to much of his music. Um, but obviously, he's huge. He's got a lot of sneakers. I feel like I've seen his sneaker like every month I'm releasing with Bad Bunny and Adidas. So probably a good one to pick up. I don't know like resale market or anything like that on this. I feel like the forum highs that I've seen would do a little bit better. But if you're into this forum low, into Bad Bunny's music, definitely one that you should definitely try to pick up. So that's everything. Make sure you guys definitely check out Yeezy Day, which is going on today um, for some of the cool releases. I imagine they're going to be releasing every like hour, 30 minutes. I think there's supposed to be like 30 sneakers. So it may be like a two day thing exactly. I don't know all the details, but definitely check the Adidas confirmed uh, and Yeezy Supply for all of those. But let me know in the comments what your favorite sneaker uh, that is releasing or something you definitely want to try to pick up this month. Obviously, I'm going to be trying for the Turtle Doves and the Wave Runners. I feel like that's probably the best two sneakers uh, coming out this month. But I think it's some pretty decent stuff on here especially some stuff if you're looking for like everyday wear and stuff that you would just like pretty casually wear nothing like crazy hype so let me know in the comments what you guys think of this month but other than that thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys later